Hi and welcome to the DTB channel. DTB stands for Deliberate Thought Building. This is a thinking model, a process that I teach inside my money and business coaching program, AFIPS. AFIPS happens to be my flagship standard lifetime money and business coaching program where I help all coaches, all healers, therapists, creative entrepreneurs make a sustainable business and make a ton load of money. How? Because we work on the brain. We work on the thoughts, we work on the feelings, we work on the money stories, we work on the business aspect, we work on strategy as well as consciousness. We work on trauma as well as thoughts. So it's a diverse form of work that we do inside ATEPS and we help every single coach out there make a ton load of money, right? So if you're not inside ATEPS, you might consider joining as soon as possible. Because by investing 5 lakhs, you set yourself to making your first 5 lakhs and then multiples and multiples of it. So the thing that I wanted to discuss with you all today was, okay, I'll start with the story. What happened is I was going through Instagram and some of you may have heard this uh, slogan which says, Delulu is the Salulu. <laughs> right? Which means to be delusional is the true solution. What it truly means is that you keep putting your faith, you keep hoping for the right vision, you keep aspiring for the goal without being challenged and without being burdened by outside circumstances. The circumstances could be absolutely opposite. Sometimes it could be adverse. Sometimes it may not be supportive. But it is your faith in your offer, in your product, in the people who are binging your work, consuming your work, in your buyers, in your clients. It is your faith right, which almost feels invisible at the moment is what brings you the result. I talk a lot about something called intentional invisibility in the coaching world, where there are clients always lurking. There are clients always looking at your work, binging your work. They are somewhere in your ambit. They are deciding to buy from you. And I ask my coaches, if that was true, if, if you truly believe in that, how would you then show up? So Delulu is the Salulu, like to be delusional, to uh, aspire, to manifest, to imagine, to wonder that all good things are happening to you is the true solution, irrespective of whatever circumstances is there. However, I saw someone writing that, well, that is so not true because entrepreneurs go through all this suffering, all this misery, and there are painful points in an entrepreneur's life. And um, there is so much of strife. There's so much of exhaustion. There's so much of burnout. And all of that is true. I don't deny that. I have been an entrepreneur for the last 12 years. And I know what I went through, all the hard times I went through, all the misery that I went through. Sometimes people would not show up. Some of my programs would have zero participants. You know, there would be months where I would struggle for money. There would be months when new ideas will not come. You know, nothing that I try to sell will sell. Like all I've been through all of that, like whatever an entrepreneur faces is what I have been through already. However, I still believe that Delulu is the true solution, which means to be delusional is the true solution to have your vibration, to have your faith, to have your you know, vision in that one place, even if you may not have physical evidence of that happening. Like even if all of you are not making money and you don't have evidence of having made money, it is your belief that people are willing to pay me and people are willing to buy as long as I put myself out there, as long as I talk about my offers, right? And even if that doesn't happen for a long time, it is your faith which is going to make that happen. But for most entrepreneurs, by the way, the burnout comes way easier. For most coaches also, they feel really bogged down they feel hurt, they feel miserable, they feel rejected, they feel that they don't have control, they feel that they don't have anything to lean back on, they don't have a backbone, right? So for many people, it's a very lonely journey and an exhausting journey and a journey that burns people out. And I'm going to offer a very unpopular opinion around this. And this happens, which I've observed, is because people lack a spiritual backbone. Yes, it is true. And I want to be very loud and clear about it. People lack a spiritual backbone. They do not incorporate not only spiritual practices in their daily life, they do not incorporate cord cutting. They do not incorporate praying. They do not incorporate chanting. They do not incorporate activities that could put them in a high vibrational state on a daily basis, right? And I'm not saying that you need a high vibrational state in order to sell more, in order to have a more prolific business, but it is for you so that you don't get exhausted, so that you don't get burnout, so that your beliefs are unshakable, so that you can rely on your ideas and on your downloads and you can believe that there is a divine guiding you from way beyond. This is what happens. For example, in my life, how I start my day is I wake up. I have a Rudrakshmala right to my left on my bed. I have three mantras that I start chanting right in the morning, the moment I wake up, even before I open my eyes fully. I know that I am in the alpha state, right? Sorry, I mean, I'm moving towards the alpha state, right? From the delta and the theta state. And I know that, okay, this is a state where if I chant, everything that I'm intending towards chanting is going to go deep into my subconscious. So I chant, 108, 108, 108, right? Not only do I live my life intentionally, like while I'm walking in the park, I will be um, practicing my DTBs, but also at the same point of time, I have my own rituals. I have my own cord cutting, I have my own nazar removal 
every single day, thanks to my Reiki uh, coach who has been coaching me, I go through my own healing, right? I take time to actually connect to my ancestors. In the evening, I have my own time, own ritual where I'll be lighting candles. I'll be raising my vibration by doing some more mantras, right? And I don't see them as separate parts of my work. My work, which, com which comprises of sitting on the table and working or probably coaching, you know, m the coaching usually takes two hours if I'm coaching every single day. And the other work like email and marketing and selling and offer making and ideating, all of that probably will take another two and a half to three hours. But then all the other time, for example, the half an hour in the morning, you know, the chanting in the afternoon, you know, uh, the practicing of DTBs, the connecting to the ancestors, the praying in the evening, right? All of these things, which will take another two to two and a half hours are part of my work. I don't see them as separate parts of my work. They are there to support me. They are there to keep me healthy. A lot of people I see falling sick like anything, trying to work falling sick and, you know, not being able to recover from it. It's not that I don't fall sick, I do. But then I recover from it very soon, very fast, right? That's because I do not let all these foreign energies stick to me. I'm constantly working on my vibration, on my aura, on my body, on my organs. And number one, <laughs> on top of that also, by the way, I work out a lot. So when you do work out, your immunity goes up. And when you combine that with, you know, uh, having spiritual practice and backbone for yourself is when you um, are able to move beyond all these obstacles that come up. Like I listen to so many podcasts where coaches and business coaches most probably will glorify, glorify all the sufferings that they went through. You know, I had such a hard time with my child and yet I made this much amount of money. You know, I went through such a difficult relationship and yet so and so happened. And, you know, I was, I was sick and I'm not able to recover from it. And yet blah, blah, blah. And people get stuck in these cycles of suffering that they want to glorify themselves through the suffering that yet because of the suffering, I did this. I don't want to glorify my suffering. I do suffer and I have suffered. I don't want to glorify it. Right. I want to talk about my failures from a point of view that failures are essential for a human being to learn and to move on and to implement a different technique, a different method, a different viewpoint. That's why we need failures in life. I feel so much, so many times in my life and it's never about glorifying those failures. It's all about, okay, what next do I need to do so that this time I can be successful and what do I learn from my failures? That's my outlook, but it's not that I want to glorify it. Nor do I want to go through any of that because I would like my life to be easy and I would do everything. I would do every single thing to make my life easy, which is why I also ask my students inside ATIPS, inside the mastermind to never sweat it out. Sweating it out is never going to get you the result, period. It's only going to exhaust you more and more, burn you out more and more, right? So whenever you feel like doing a lot of action, you need to find yourself in a space where you can be spiritually aligned. You can find rituals for yourself. You can find mantras for yourself. You can find processes for yourself where you can do core cutting and removal of foreign energy from your system because you interact with so many people throughout the day, right? You will have to cleanse and clean your aura. If you are not doing that basic spiritual hygiene, it's going to cost you in the long run. It's really going to cost you. You will not be able to scale your business from where you are to a million or a multi-million dollar business easily. Like I, a lot of other people have also done. It's not that white people have not done, right? They have done it, but it's not been easy for them. There's been a lot of strife. And the strife comes because of the past karma, which keeps catching up, right? Which is why it is also important to get done the spiritual work for yourself, right? Like I went through countless regressions for myself into past lives, into my inner child, right? So that all the past karmas can be resolved so that the this part of my life is easier to maneuver, easier to navigate, easier to go forward. Otherwise, when you disacknowledge all of those karmas and past traumas from, from the past, what happens that the energy of it, it just keeps getting in the way, right? That is the reason I invite coaches, healers, business persons, people who are trying to make their own money to come to the Golden Portal Mastermind. Simply because all the karmas that you carry with you from your ancestors, from your generational lines, from the spirit realm, which are getting in the way, which are unconscious, which are truly not letting you move ahead despite doing all the work that you're doing. Well, you might be making progress. You might be making money. But at the same point of time, it doesn't feel easy. One or the other obstacle keeps coming up. One, one or the other, you know, uh, blunder keeps on happening. You do make the money and it slips away. You move towards the money and the money goes far away, right? Why do you think that happens? It's not that you are not skilled, you are not talented, you are not focused. It's, it has got nothing to do with that. It's just that the unconscious has way more pull on you than your conscious effort. And that is why so many of you as entrepreneurs, even if you are able to attain a certain degree of success, it doesn't feel effortless. It doesn't feel easy. It feels that you have to do a lot, right? For example, I do not feel that I have to do a lot. I feel my life is light as light. I feel my life is easy as a feather. I have so much of time to walk in the park, to go out for my morning coffee, to do my journaling, to meditate for an hour, to work out for two hours. And people ask me, when do you actually then work? And that is the whole point that the reason I don't take a lot to work is because everything flows through me in a way that feels fluid, light, flexible, and everything is merged. Everything is actually a part of my work life, right? That is the level of effortlessness I would aspire for 10 of you so that you can come to the golden mastermind, golden portal mastermind, and you are able to transcend all that holds you from behind. The forces, the karma, the traumas, the patterns, the barriers, and all of them are unconscious. Three months of working with me from April, May, and June, right? Along with that, you also get to inhabit a telegram group where I will be there for constant support. It's a private group, right? And that is when you will actually make a quantum jump in your money reality and financial frequency. So don't delay. Delaying is only going to delay your own progress. Get in touch with me on Telegram at Gaurav underscore Deka. If you are on Instagram and on my profile, then just go to at Dr. Gaurav Deka, D-R-G-A-U-R-A-V-D-E-K-A, and just DM me. I will make it easy for you. We start in April and we will finish bookings in March. Only 10 people that I can work with 
because as you know that this game as a download to me and I cannot work with more than 10 people at least in this particular mastermind right so I ask you to come ahead and DM me see you soon